Hey everybody, welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how to use the map view and GPS coordinates in NX Studio by Nikon uh, to show where your photographs were taken and to uh, find photographs that were taken in a particular area. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go up here. This icon right here, if we click this, it toggles on and off the film strip view. And this is useful in the map view. So as you can see, we have this one picture highlighted here. We're going to go to the third icon over, which is uh, the uh, map view icon. And it's going to show us all of these different um, markers here, which are places where um, I have taken photographs and marked down the coordinates of. This right here, uh, this red marker, is is the highlighted picture, the actual picture that we have highlighted. Now we have different views in this, which is pretty cool. This is using Google Maps right here. So this is just the regular map view. We also have a satellite view, which is very cool. And uh, we can actually also go, of course, zoom in uh, closer to it uh, to take an aerial or to look at an aerial view of it. We have the hybrid mode that actually marks the roads over top of the uh, satellite um, uh, map. And then if we look at the fourth one, which is the physical, it's like a topological map of the area. All right, so uh, when we click on these photos, as I said, the, the, the photo that's clicked on uh, will highlight. We can also click on the marker and it will move us to the photos or photos that were taken uh, at that marker or, or marked as taken in that location. If we look over here under the info tab at the bottom, the location information is there with the uh, GPS coordinates. Now, there are a couple ways you can get that in into the uh, image. One is to use a uh, smartphone app with your Nikon camera that uses the GPS of the smartphone. And as you're taking photographs, it actually puts a stamp of where the GPS uh, location is on the photograph itself. But if you're not using the app or forget to turn the app on, you can go back later and manually do that. So that's the next thing uh, we're going to do. We're going to manually set the location. All right, I've uh, selected another photo that doesn't have any location information in it. And I've moved to the map to the area where I took this photograph. Now you can be as precise uh, or as general as you want uh, with this. You can actually, like I said, you can actually look at the satellite information and zoom in and actually find a precise location uh, where you uh, took the photograph if you wanted to or you can get as close as possible to it uh, but we're just going to mark it in the general location uh, in this case so we highlight the photograph and then we go up here to this uh, this icon right here and click on it so that it's yellow and now we have a crosshair and so uh, we can place a marker here uh, r right on the lake where this photograph was taken. And when we place the marker, it will go uh, click OK to associate the location data with the file or drag a pin to the new, a new location. So you can drag it to a different location if you wanted to. Uh, and uh, it's probably around here on the shore someplace. Uh, so we'll place that there and uh, we'll click OK. And now if we look at this photograph right here, you can see the location information. It's actually uh, actually put the uh, GPS co coordinate coordinates in there. So that's that's a very nice uh, feature of uh, NX Studio. So you can actually go up here to find and search for an address to find it on the map, or you can just kind of scroll around on the map if you happen to be nearby uh, the area that you want to put the markers or where you took the photographs. So that's how you use the, the map uh, function and the GPS coordinates on NX Studio 
Uh, by Nikon, this has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.